4 Effective Methods on What to Sell and How You Should Sell Online I get asked this question by many of my students all the times. In this video I will explore what should you sell online and provide tips on how to thing the products to sell online. 1 Brainstorm Idea First you need to ask yourself, do you do business doing something you are passionate about? Or do you want to go into business doing something you think will bring you profit and more money? Think about this question and next you need to build on your idea. Brainstorm and talk to your family and friends, seek their ideas and suggestions. Do something that will suit you well and not get bored easily. When you brainstorm ideas, you expand on ideas and sources you might already have. Analyze suggestions and resources, keep working on your idea and expand your idea until you can identify the specific business or products that you think may work out. Check out your assortment wish lists. Assortment wish lists is the list of items or products that you would like to sell and you think may sell well. In Lazada you can build your wish list i.e. What are the current trends, most wanted items on Lazada platform, share by the categories themselves. To research. Next you need to do your research and analyze the industry by doing online research, offline research and consulting methods. 2.1 Online Research Online research on business news, trustworthy blogs, online magazines. Analyze your customer profiles on social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Use Keyword Planner for Google AdWords, check out reputable business reports, or probably you can gain potential customers' preferences through online survey results. 2.2 Offline Research – Discuss with Potential Customers Analyze with your connection, circle of friends and your business networks. Physically attending trade fairs, trade shows to gauge the product demand. Gain potential customers' insight and demand through feedback forms, surveys, polls, or sampling of products. Check out your competitor or potential competitors before launching your new products. Perform an in-depth competitor analysis if your product is highly specialized. 2.3 Researching the market using a top-down approach. Before you launch your product, analyze your market segment. Let's take selling electronic gadgets as an example. When you are interested in a big segment of the market, and the segment is big enough, identify the size of the market of your target market against total market size. Analyze from feedback of the market. 3. Test the market. Start selling and use seller tools available in Lazada Seller Center. 3.1 Use promotion tools such as vouchers, free shipping and flexi combo to increase your traffic, sales volume and basket size. 3.2 Use store builder to improve your buyer overall in-store buying experience. 3.3 Use seller picks to boost product visibility. 3.4 Use lorikeet to enrich your product contents. 3.5 Use Chat to engage with your customers and build trust. 4. Evaluate Feedback, Improvise and React Always evaluate feedback and react to your customers and the market. You can do this through customers' feedback and ratings on your products. Good products and service will bring positive reviews and ratings. Another important area to focus is review the questions sellers often get asked by customer or potential customers. Seller need to constantly and consistently review the product and market demands and keep up with the trends of customers. In order to be successful, seller need to do a lot of research and follow up on each and every product sold. Each product need to be reviewed on their acceptance level by the customers. If you would like to learn more, please subscribe, like and learn all my videos in this channel or join my training session on how to become a successful e-commerce seller in Lazada.